guys, welcome back. Let's play Final Fantasy VIII. Last time we crashed our garden into the town of Fisherman's Horizon. And while we're going up and down the ladders for a little bit, I wanted to cut back to an image, or well, a little bit of footage that I got when you ask Sid a, uh, a second question or, you know, talk to him after he gives you the order to come here. And I just think it's kind of interesting that, uh, Apparently it's Squall's fate to do this, or it's, uh, our fate is in his hands, or whatever it's said. I just thought that was kind of amusing, just seems to come out of nowhere. Anyway, now that we're back to the top here, we're just gonna continue around, and... Hello, what's up over here? He's a familiar face. Okay, we'll go down then. Yeah, the, uh, the city around here, as I said, is a major juxtaposition, but we'll get back to that. We're going to Etsar? News to me. High-tech city. It's just beyond the train tracks. Well, considering we haven't seen where we are on the world map, I'm sure many people who haven't played the game are like, what train tracks? We're in the middle of the water. Uh, but yes, technically, when we see the world map, we are near a set of train tracks that goes across the water. It's... Rather interesting feat. But anyway, a lot of people who stop here are heading there. Didn't we hear something about uh, no one really knowing what's going on with us, are? If people stop by here on the way there, wouldn't you think they would know what's going on? Just a thought. We would have to walk down the train tracks. Sorry, that doesn't seem like the best option to me, especially when the only way to walk on it would be to literally walk on the tracks. And if a train happened to get fixed and come down, I wouldn't want to jump either side and fall into the ocean to get away from it. Shouldn't keep you, huh? And yes, we are going to have to get onto this lift every time we want to go up and down this area. It's a little time consuming. And it would be terrible, but the music's so great, I don't even care. Hello. What about you? Uh, familiar face number two. Uh, no. We just met by the garden's entrance. Yeah, the him and the guy up above were uh, both there. They were in the uh, background. He, they weren't the uh, main person we were speaking with. But yeah, Squall doesn't f remember anybody. Kind of like me. Yep, yeah, you and your brother are running it. Don't we look alike? Um, to be honest, I can't remember what the other guy looked like, so sure? Anyway, in order to get up, all we need to do is talk to him. Familiar face number three, are you a seed? Yes, we are indeed. Fight anybody for money. Are you happy with that kind of life? Um, well, you might be proving his point. I can understand him speaking, you know, the uh, the NPC speaking with a bit of a, um, I don't know, a bit of an attitude almost in regards to how Squall decides to live the way he lives, you know, uh, being a mercenary and all that. Just don't cause any problems, huh? Interesting. Is Squall actually going to grow as a character? This couldn't be an RPG, could it? But yeah, you can kind of see uh, things are a little different from Squall's perspective to this perspective of many of the people around here. The mayor's house is down way down these stairs in the middle of the massive solar panel. I'm not sure why they have it set up like that. It seems rather interesting. But anyway, while we're dealing with this music, I would like to go over something. Uh, that's the wrong one. I have made the changes that I said eventually I would end up making, and I've put the new Leviathan GF on Squall and removed the uh, Siren Summon as well. And in doing that, I have moved it over to somebody else. You don't have that either. We moved it over here to you. So here, we're going to throw on... No. I want my auto haste up there. I want move fine down there. We actually want that in this area. Uh, no. I gave you the siren GF. And 
the reason why I did that, uh, you could give it to either Zell or, or yeah, Zell or Renoa. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we have protect against, against silence and confuse over here. But the primary reason why is because of the magic bonus. And since these GFs tend to go on my character who has the highest magic stat, it made the most sense. And if you take a look over here, first thing we're going to learn with Leviathan is support magic. And the next thing we're going to work on is probably Magic Junction, followed by Recover. Uh, those are the kind of the main important ones that happen to be on this particular GF. After that, I'll work on Spirit plus 20, then 40, and then I think you get Spirit bonus as well, so I'll work on that as time goes by. Uh, you uh, have almost finished Status Defense Junction. Um, I know the upcoming an upcoming fight is going to have more than one AP, so I'm just going to switch over to that and finish this off in a regular battle. Uh, you're going to work on hit percentage. I got it right this time. You're still working on HP plus 80. And everyone else is pretty much done. Okay. Just figured I'd go over that real quick. We're actually not going to go talk to... Uh... I, I can't remember. I th is this... This save point might be hidden, I can't remember. Either that or this is uh, hidden. There's a regen draw point, if you're uh, so inclined to do that. But yeah, this is probably the most interesting town in the entire game. Sorry about that, you just kind of walked up by me like that. What about you? He's a drunkard who ain't drunk. I have a feeling he's probably drunk. Just, just a guess, though. I'm not sure if I'm judging you by, uh, judging a book by its cover, but, uh... Then no major damage. Comments, anyone? Nearly fell down from the tremor. Oh, I guess you've got, uh, like, a, some kind of computer system or news system going on there. Um, we could buy some items. Got any items? Nothing useful! Actually, hold up. I do need some stuff. What am I talking about? I ran out of... Uh, yeah, we'll grab a 10-pack of those and a 10-pack of those. Those are the only ones I seem to have been using lately, so... Yeah, that's fine. And let's head on up here. In here, our characters split apart. We get paid, somehow. And there's another issue of Timber Maniacs. And our characters don't have uh, hit detection. Zell does, but Renault doesn't. Anything over here? No? Okay. You don't have to uh, pay to stay in the end in order to get the Timber Maniacs. I think that's number seven. Uh, I believe there are 12, if I remember correctly, in the game. Um, are you the same person I already talked to? No, you are the same person I already talked to. Can I move, please? Video game? Thank you. All right. What are you up to? Master of Balam Garden is Norg. Did he evolve? Is he a Pokemon? And Hero is being mean to the guy, and meanwhile, he's just a Snorlax! Aww! I shouldn't have been so mean to the guy. He just was cranky because he woke up from his nap. Anyway, he's a Shumi, so he should evolve. Okay? I don't know what that means. You don't know Diddly Squat, do you? I'm a JRPG protagonist. That's my middle name. I don't know Squat. Or Squall, I don't know Squat. What's your last name? Lionheart? Yeah, anyway. I killed the joke, whatever. <laughs> no big deal. Do you say anything else? A little bit scary thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to evolve into either. Seems kind of uh, frightening. Over here, can I... There we go. We have a shell draw point, which I don't need. And here, we have a junk shop, which again, I don't need. Well, it's there. Let's go talk to the Fisher Kid. Do you like fishing? Now, these uh, sequences all stem from talking to the guy, the Master Fisherman, that I talked to at the end of the last episode. You had to have talked to him once, answered the question, and then talk to him a second time when he asks about his protege or his student or something like that. And then you want to specifically answer sort of, or one of the more 
interesting and unique side quests in the game. Not that it's difficult or anything like that. It's just kind of tedious in terms of when you are limited to do it and what exactly it entails. Last time it was your store sign. He shows off, does he? Your line went backward. I don't know. Well, I, I shouldn't say that because it's, you know, it happens to everybody, you know, when you learn how to fish. But uh, I guess he's not very good still. Though I'm not sure why he's in a boat that's tethered to the dock and not just casting off the dock. Nah, whatever. Don't have enough weight, huh? Ah, uh, did you see an old man fishing by the port? Yeah, I saw him. Again, you want to answer all of these. And I was impressed. Sort of. You're his number one student. You want to be just like him, huh? Uh, yeah. Fishing till the last moment. Almost caught something before he almost died and abandoned his rod. Some people can tell he's a great man. Okay. Apparently some others don't believe that. Uh-oh. Um, what's with the changing in music all the time? It's weird. Go out to sea and fish like a man. <laughs> you can't swim. Okay. That's interesting. You know your form is good. And you have to keep talking to the kid, by the way. The dialogue just doesn't go automatically. It's kind of weird. Hmm? Oh. Now, I understand that this is supposed to be stupid and, uh, you know, whatever. And they start even playing the battle music, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and then we get the fanfare music and we save the old man. Oddly enough, the action that Squall takes kind of reminds me of when he tries to cast a spell, uh, as opposed to grabbing the net and like untangling it. You'd think he'd get his sword out and just cut the air or something like that. Maybe it was too difficult to animate. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen yellow text before. Not in this, you know, this idea as opposed to like yellowing a word so that we were supposed to remember it. He's a dumbass. Yep. Apparently he is. Not very good at fishing, is he? But yeah, that whole sequence, the music just changes a bunch of times and it's uh, really, really weird. <laughs> and the guy almost dies. But if you think about it logically, the kid's over there. He somehow loses his fishing line. How did the guy get hung up? Like, even if it goes through, like, the lettering on top and then wraps around his neck, it's, unless he falls down, there won't be enough force pulling him up. Uh, it just seems kind of weird. Eh, maybe he was reeling it in. I don't know. But anyway, that, that whole sequence was just very weird and, for some reason, actually necessary. Uh, at least if you want to do the uh, side quest. And I do. Even though it looks like you can go into the building over there on the right, you cannot. Did I just learn something? Or was that a cat? Uh, Renoa. Yeah, I said before that when we heard a similar sound effect, we learned something. And if we don't select anything new to learn, we won't learn anything new. Things like Angelo Strike, Angelo Reverse, and Angelo Recover are not very useful, so I would rather limit the amount of options that there are when Renoa gets her limit break, since it's random, based on her crisis level, which one she's going to actually use. Uh, Invincible Moon makes the party invincible, which is much better than any of these other ones. I would rather be invincible than healed, recovered, or do a little bit of damage, because if I'm invincible, I can do a lot of damage. Uh, Angelo Cannon, unfortunately, and Angelo Rush are automatically learned. One of them's a counter. Uh, I think that's the, the limit break, and that's the counter. Uh, you won't learn anything. Yes, that's exactly what I want. I don't want to learn anything right now. All right, let's go over here. Hello. That's a cute kitty. And that's all you say. Okay. Can I talk to this guy? What do you say? Want to play cards? Um, 
No, not right now. I think I'm good. Can't give up now. What are you, training going up and down the stairs? Now, many people may not even know that this screen exists, because for years I didn't know this screen exists. It has a haste drop point on it, but other than that, it's completely unnecessary. But yeah, there are uh, there train tracks around here. You would think, and I'll turn on fast forward so we go faster, that you could try and run away going down the tracks. You can't. There's nothing you can do. There's junk on the uh, in the middle there, and you can't go up or down. But anyway, the screen's there. Figured I'd show that. All right, what else can we do? I'm going to be dragging my ass in this place just because I enjoy this place. The NPCs, for the most part, are actually interesting. There's a number of side quests you can do here. Lots of stuff. It kind of slows things down, but it's not terrible. All that stuff there I got from this guy in Shumi Village. Hmm. We're both artisans and we share a lot in common. Hmm. Interesting. This looks like one of those little creatures we saw before. And here, I believe, is the eighth issue of Timber Maniacs. What else are you up to? This isn't your everyday repair shop. Your head, your personality, I'll give you a great deal. This guy's kind of a smart ass, and I kind of like it. And he doesn't say anything else. His name, again, is Grease Monkey. So just keep that in mind for later, because that will actually be important, even beyond the time that we just spend in this city. But anyway, I figured I'd show that off. Now we can head down and we can actually talk to uh, the mayor and give him the apology for, you know, ramming our garden into his city. If you play this on emulator, this particular screen, like the uh, bridge and doll, it glitches out. It's uh, kind of weird. But uh, as far as I can see, no glitches. I like it. Before going into the area, head over here to the right. Hello. This is Marty. If you remember a number of episodes back, Norik had said he had a subordinate named Marty. Banished from Galbadia Garden. He was both the headmaster and the garden master. Everything you built, gone. People of the sound welcome me with open arms. You don't have anything left. You're so ashamed. No, well, you don't say anything else. Okay, well, scan through the dialogue again. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, he was in charge over there, and then he wasn't. A game of cards, you say? Confiscated all the cards from the students. Thick, you're in for a challenge. Now... If you had not done the manipulation that I... Well, it wasn't really manipulation. I spread open, I think, and that was all it was. There was a lady in Delling City that played with FH's rules, and I spread open to this region. I didn't bother getting rid of Elemental or Sudden Death because they really don't have any input on anything that I do. So we'll go like that. And he doesn't have the one I want, so I will see you in a moment. Okay, at long last. This took him like eight tries to finally use it. Uh, I'm not sure why. He almost always uses it right away. Somehow, General Caraway managed to lose it to this guy. Somewhere in between us breaking out of prison and losing the card to him and us getting here. I don't know when, where, or how. Either that or he confiscated this card from one of his students that also he just, you know, he confiscated it from one of the students who managed to beat General Caraway. I, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Not particularly important. Uh, this guy can also use cards levels 1 through uh, 7. So if you're looking for any more level 7 cards and you have trouble finding him using Ifrit, then he will use those. Uh, and you can get them that way. And I win. Uh, also, one other thing. If you press the triangle button, it will pop up. I guess this is probably not, this will be the menu button. So if you have it set to default, it'll be circle, I guess. But uh, we have, we can see what the rules are. Now, the elemental rule I've already explained. Sudden death only means that if the game ends in a draw, that, mm, yeah, I should be good. 
the game ends in a draw, then you'll go to Sudden Death Overtime. And what will happen is any cards that you currently have flipped will be in your hand and any cards that the enemy has currently flipped will be in their hand. So if we drew right now, um, say, I don't know, they had flipped one of my cards, like say Zell's card, they flipped Zell's card. Well, they would have Zell's card in their hand for this next part of the game. And so game can never end in a draw, basically. That's the only real use of that. Um, but yeah, levels one through seven cards if you are interested in doing any of that. Anyway, with that being said, let's uh, move on in here. Interesting. Seems to be a, kind of a mismatch everywhere, even inside of uh, like working technology and, you know, like advanced technology and not quite so advanced technology. As you can see. Please have a seat. This is Mayor Dobe. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce his name anyway. When are you leaving? Well, first thing you said to me, I kind of understand we did crash into your city, but um, yeah, we'll leave as soon as we can figure out how to make this thing work. And don't know how to make it work. <laughs> so we're kind of up shit creek right now. Still in the process of understanding everything. Our technicians will assist you. They should be able to repair and service everything. How? Well, that sounds extremely generous. Oh, right. That means outsiders in the garden. Eh. Well, we'll, we'll go talk to Sid about that one. <clears throat> well, there's blunt force trauma. <laughs> and then there's Renoa. They must have their reasons. Who cares? Not our deal. You rely on force to solve problems? And that is in direct difference of our principles. Any problem can be solved by discussion. They are a pacifist society. Okay. Trite and dull as hell, though. Well, I like I like his use of the word trite there because it's like, of all the things that Squall says, that's probably the least likely thing I would expect him to say. It seems like he would have to do too much studying to come across that word to ever find a use for it. <laughs> violence leads to more violence. It's the JRPG spirit. That's why we would like you to leave. Alright, let's go back to the garden. But not quite yet. Over here, only with Mufind on, is an Ultima draw point. The first one we have found in this game. Big money! 15 is the max, if I recall correctly. This one never respawns. This one will be dark until the end of the game. There is no way to make that one respawn for some reason or another. Uh, you can only access it with the move find ability. But anyway, let's talk to you guys a couple more times. Okay, you think our presence will attract more violence? Well, seems to be the case. And you guys are all pretty boring. But, they play cards. And we kind of want to play cards. They each have a new card that we would like to get. And I would like to switch up my strategy by going thusly. Oh my god, you're actually playing it! Holy crap, I've been sitting here playing like 12 card games. Holy crap, what is with today and not being able to play? These guys won't play their cards. I've probably spent more time off screen in this episode than I have on screen. Anyway, this guy has Kezakotl. So let's win Kezakotl. He also takes forever in a day to think about his next maneuver. That's why it takes so long for him to choose. Usually it's an indication to the player that, you know, this guy actually has some amount of strategy involved. But usually the strategy is like really, really stupid. So, you know, eh, whatever. The sooner you can get him to stop dicking around and just play properly, the sooner you can win and be done with it. 
There we go. He has a total card. Nice. Well, that was fun. Guess what we have to do next? We play cards against Flo, his wife. And if the game will be nice to me, we will get to see the card now. Hey, only took two tries. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I've spent way too much time off screen playing cards. Uh, this card will only be there if you have played. Hmm, nice, good spot for uh, Ifrit's card. Uh, only if you have done the Queen of Cards start quest and shown her or lost to her the sacred card, which I've already done. Off, well, not off screen. I, I showed it on screen. But anyway, it's already happened. Um, yeah, we're going to play defensively. I don't want. Uh, nice. Nice play there, dude. Nice play. So I'm going to play here. Yes. And now I've got it. I can't lose. Thanks to the last move, but I got it. We got the Irvine card. Anyway, like I said, that is, of course, required on doing the Queen of Cards stuff. If you haven't done that, you won't get Irvine's card there. Anyway, now that we've played far too many card games, let's get the hell out of here and go back and talk to Sid. Um, because it's called politics, and politics sucks, but we can't really do that. Sell? I, I can't talk to you? Okay, I'm leaving. Okay. This is also true. I'm not sure why we couldn't actually talk to Zell there, but... Anyway. Oh! Hello! The music switched on a dime. And even though I love the music here, I also love this. Um, probably. That's a, that's a good guess. That's a good guess. Well, yeah, we're gonna go take care of business. You know, JRPG and all. Yeah. Mustn't rely on them. They won't be able to do anything without fighting. You have soldiers coming here. Usually the answer is either bow down or slaughter the soldiers. At least as far as RPGs go. He's going to go try and reason with them. He's going to go talk to them. He's dead. Yeah, pretty much. He's going to go die. Let's go watch. Yeah, 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 I know. But that's pretty much all the time we have for today. We found all four of the draw points in the city. We started one of the most interesting and useful side quests. Well, not really useful, but one of the most interesting side quests in the game. And, uh, yeah, now there are soldiers here, so I'm going to let them run around for about a day or so, and then uh, we'll pick her up and try and uh, try and take these guys down, or maybe save that mayor guy. Maybe not. I, I, I could really go either way at this point. But anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.